Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'll ring the bell with one minute to go. Thank you. Um, pleased to take a short call on the Subantarctic um, Marine Reserves Bill, which the Green Party will be supporting. Certainly, Mr Speaker, the uh, heavy seas and the strong winds which Wellington has been experiencing this morning give an insight into the conditions which prevail on these islands, though I suspect that the wind chill factor uh, there is likely to be much higher. And I've never had the privilege of visiting the subantarctic islands, but would certainly welcome the uh, suggestion of the chair of the select committee, Nikki Wagner, that we uh, go down to um, the Antipodes or the Bounty or the Campbell Island group, because they are some of our wildest and remote places. They're some of our least modified and most natural environments remaining in New Zealand. And, while, and certainly they are a nirvana for uh, nature photographers. They've got dramatic sea cliffs, luxuriant mega herbs, and then you get species like the albatross uh, nesting amongst the tussock. And so it was certainly a major achievement in 2001 to 2005 when the Department of Conservation undertook the largest um, rat eradication project in the world and cleared Campbell Islands of rats. And there's been a, a major improvement in the health of the um, flora since then. And it was the universal value of the subantarctics, the Antipodes, Bounty, Campbell Island and Auckland Island, which was recognised when they were listed um, for World Heritage status in 1998. And that listing included all of the uh, territorial seas around the islands, but it's only that uh, Auckland Island, which has been protected, the territorial seas there, which has been protected um, since 2003. So this bill is very welcome because it um, is an initiative to put in place our world heritage obligations to protect the territorial sea round our three other of those islands. And it's certainly a big improvement on the lack of protection um, around those other groups, the Antipodes, at the Bounty and Campbell Island. And, Mr Speaker, the, um, certainly the Antipodes Island, all of the 12 nautical mile territorial sea would be protected as a reserve, and that's an excellent result for conservation. But around Bounty Islands, only 58% of the territorial sea will be uh, protected, though there will certainly be initiatives under the Fisheries Act to um, prohibit Danish uh, saying fishing. And over around Campbell Island, it's only 39% of the territorial waters. And as Gareth Hughes noted, we are disappointed that that uh, crab fishery is to be allowed, given that it's um, not even in existence yet. Uh, that is a shortcoming in the bill. But, Mr Speaker, I would just like to talk about the collaborative process which resulted in the recommendations to government. It was out of the Subantarctic Marine Planning Forum, which um, had representation from all of the stakeholders, commercial fishers, um, environmental interests and others. And they certainly, the conservation interests on that stakeholder group certainly sought to have a much larger area protected and, as a member of the Select Committee, look forward to their submissions making the case that the boundaries of the reserves which are will be established in this bill should be extended. But the government has really dropped the ball on marine protection, apart from this initiative, because the Subantarctics Forum was established under the former government and we had the Marine Protected Areas Policy, which was a joint initiative between the Ministry of Fisheries and DOC in 2006. That was supposed to govern these collaborative forums set up around the country, and the only ones we've seen have been the Subantarctic one and the West Coast Forum. And having been a member of the West Coast Marine Protection Forum, <clears throat> They are an excellent initiative to get away from the hostility that you get and the attacks on reserve proposals which proceed on a one-off basis. Getting all the stakeholders around the table means that you can have a, a, a good discussion. Yet there have been no new collaborative forums established um, subsequent to the West Coast and the um, Subantarctic ones. So that is really disappointing. We keep hearing that a new Marine Reserves Bill will come in next year. That is definitely needed, but we keep hearing next year without the bill being introduced. So, Mr Speaker, certainly the Green Party supports this bill. It is a very valuable initiative in marine conservation, but we need more comprehensive initiatives to protect representative areas across our territorial sea and in the exclusive economic zone. Thank you. Thank you. Honourable Members, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will please say aye. To the contrary, no, the eyes have it. Bill first reading. 
Honourable Members, the question therefore is that the Sub-Antarctic Islands Marine Reserves Bill be considered by the Local Government and Environment Committee. Those of that opinion will please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Honourable Members, the People's House stands adjourned until 2pm this afternoon.